Hello, everybody. I'm John. And I'm Claire. And today we're talking about an article called Delivery Debacle. Always a favorite word of mine. I, love that. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say that. I love the word debacle. Yeah. Such a debacle. Yeah, yeah. I like using it. I like saying it. I like the way it sounds. Mm -hmm. um, however, this is a good description of it because there was quite a situation that happened during a delivery um, to a certain 29th floor apartment. Uh, and the kind of chaos that ensued afterwards was um, quite notable and kind of, I guess, stressful enough, weird enough, mm. terrible enough mm. to not only make the news, but to also make a lot of people be on the side for once of delivery drivers. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a change. Yes, it does make a change. But we will get into those details later. Um, now, you don't do a lot of delivery, but when you do, how long does it usually take in your neighborhood? It's pretty quick. I'm very central. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. very close to the places that I order from, so I, I've never waited more than about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Very That's quick, pretty good. very efficient. Yeah. I remember, uh, well, not remember, I was alive during this time. Um, two weeks ago, when uh, the world, no, it was three, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when Korea was playing in the quarterfinals, I want to say. <laughs> I want to. Something like that. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the delivery took over two to three hours for some people mm -hmm. because everyone was ordering fried chicken or pizza, those types of um, foods for the game. Mm -hmm. I think some people got it in the middle of the game and some people even got it after. Mm -hmm. And some people's orders were automatically canceled. I see. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I did not order that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not too often. This is on special occasions. It takes yeah. a long time. Although, a long time ago, when I lived much further outside of Seoul, I did have a few cases, actually, mm. where it just took forever. And it mm -hmm. seemed, and when, when you called to ask, well, where is my order? Mm. They were like, oh, it's on the way. And then it took another hour. So I, my theory mm. was that they just had forgotten or not written down the order or it had gone to the wrong place. And they had to entirely remake it. Yeah. Because it took so long. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're almost completely right. That happened to me as well. Mm. I called. I said, where's my stuff? And they're like, oh, um, yeah, it's, it's on the way. Mm -hmm. And it took another whatever, 40 whatever minutes. I was like, oh, you had to cook it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you had to make it, didn't you? <laughs> Have you ever canceled an order? Actually, no. No. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I get to the point where I'm really starving and I think about canceling mm -hmm. it. But then I think, oh, it's not going to be that much longer. Mm -hmm. I've waited yeah. this long. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep waiting. So What is that? The sunk cost theory or whatever it's yes, called? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where you keep investing because you're like, well, I've already done this much. Might as well do more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read that summary or the entire article, hopefully, and uh, see what this sort of debacle is about. Delivery debacle. A delivery driver arrived with their customer's dinner, but the elevator was out of order and the customer was on the 29th floor. The driver was forced to climb all 29 flights of stairs, and then 15 more when the customer changed their mind and decided to send the food back. The customer also posted a negative review on the delivery app and threatened to file an official complaint. The restaurant's owner was so upset that they shut down for a couple days. Now, a lot of public anger is directed at the customer.